All right, it's showtime. It's Marquetta Breslin, and I'm back with another episode of Marquetta Breslin Live. And tonight, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about crown knotting, and then I'm going to bring on a special guest. His name is AJ, and he is nothing short of amazing. You've probably seen his work on Instagram, but you're going to hear a lot from him tonight. He's going to be talking about life after graduating from Lacewood University. So I'm super excited about that. Be sure to like and share this live with someone who may need to hear this message or shoot. Even if they don't want to hear it, share the live with them anyway, because it's good vibes over here. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm playing my intro right now. To help you start making deposits We building a team full of winners From novice beginners to moguls with profits And moguls that's profits Steady for greatness we strive We dropping them gems over here Tune in to my credit we live All right. What's up, everybody? I am back. So if you were not on my live yesterday morning, uh, well, actually yesterday evening, I announced a new showtime because I just sent out a survey and almost everybody that <laughs> filled out the survey said the preferred time to watch my lives are from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So you asked, I delivered the new time for my live show, Even God Works, is 6 p.m. PST. I even like this time a little bit better. It's the end of my day. I get to hang out with you guys for an hour and go cook dinner and be with my family. So I'm really, really, really excited about this new time. Um, but the shows still are on Monday and Tuesday and Sometimes I may go live again throughout the week, uh, but it will always be posted. So you can count on that. And it doesn't matter what's going on. The last past couple times I've been live, you've probably been able to hear drilling and knocking and all kinds of things because there has been construction going on at my house since January. <laughs> We've only been living here since May, but it's been going on for a long time. So we're at the end this week should be the very end of all of that. And then we can transition over into the new studio um, and a whole bu bunch of other cool things. But hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here tonight. We have a special guest tonight. I am so excited. Uh, but first, before I get into the special guest and the topic for tonight, let me give a shout out to all the Inner Circle members that are chiming in over in the comments. Uh, Kina Mercer, uh, Rochelle, Ranisha, Lena. Uh, yes, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you know I love you. I know you are, but I never want to butcher names. So I love you. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here, Tracy, Stephanie Dixon. Uh, Roshanda, hello, hello, hello. And shout out to everybody uh, who showed up early. Tiffany said, I'll be back. Tiffany was here early. She said she'll be back. Dashell, uh, Colina, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, Jermisha, Glamba, Yashika, Tatiana, Aisha. What's up, Aisha? Uh, Facebook user, hello. And Nina, good evening. Carol King. Oh, See, Letitia, that's so much easier than what I was going to say. 
I was going to try to pronounce your username. <laughs> Tashia, how are you? Sir Paul, how are you? I was just thinking about you the other day. All right, let me answer this question. Shout out to you, Rashonda. Let me answer this question really quick. She said, what is university? So university is Lace Wig University. It is the end all be all, uh, basically like a lace wig school to teach you everything you need to know about making lace wigs from scratch. Um, it is currently not available. Enrollment will open in January. So if you're not a Lace Wing University student, be sure to get on the email list because that is launching in January. There will be another three-day live event that will be a lot different from the one that I just had. Um, in that, there will be no guest speakers. Um, only students are able to attend this one. I'm going back to the way I used to do it before. Uh, and I'm really, really, really excited about that. And uh, it's just going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. And I'm really, really, really excited. Awesome. Hello, hello, hello. All right, guys. So tonight, no, oh, let me answer the rest of that question. It is not the same as the two-day boot camp. So the two-day boot camp is just that. It is a two-day boot camp. I'm keeping it intimate. All right. I'm keeping it small on purpose because I want to be able to give full hands on attention to everybody that's in the room. So it will be under. I'm probably going to keep it at 20 and under. All right. 20 and under. So we're almost completely sold out. I think there's maybe two or three seats left, but it's almost completely sold out. So if you're interested, I will pump the um, pump. I'll put the banner down below for you to go to the page and register if I can find it. Um, let me find the link and I'll put it down below for you to go ahead and register for the event. Here you go. Um, oh, let me scroll that. Let me do that. There. Um, boom. Um, so that is the difference between Lacewig University and the two day boot camp. Two day boot camp is two full days of hands on for eight hours each day. So 16 hours of straight hardcore teaching, uh, with nothing but lace wigs, directional ventilating, um, hair. I'm going to teach a little bit about hair patches. I'm going to teach about some of everything in there. So I haven't done that event in a long time. Uh, so I'm really excited to, to kick that off. All right. So tonight, yes, I can't, I can't wait either. I'm super excited. So tonight I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about, I was about to say hair patches, to talk about crown knotting. Um, and this won't take me very long at all. Um, uh, but I saw somebody submitted a question the reform a couple days ago. And I said, well, I'll take some time to talk about crown knotting tonight. So I'm going to pop a, um, an image on the screen. Now this image is taken from Lacewig University. Um, inside the university, this is the Lacewig training system. So you see here that I am working on a crown. Now you might be saying, what the heck is a crown? Why do I need to know that? Um, what is it for? What is its purpose? Well, sometimes when you're ventilating, um, let's say you're ventilating a, a toupee or a topper for a man that's going to be cut really, really short. Um, it's going to look super artificial if you just ventilate that hair in one direction. If you want it to look more realistic, um, you're going to need to add a crown in that piece, that hair piece. And it's typically um, right back here. Um, in the top, and it's a circular piece just like this. Inside Lace Week University, I talk about this in depth, um, but I just want to go over some key points to crown knotting uh, for those of you who are not yet in Lace Week University. So the thing you want to remember is there is no one way to crown knot. There is a bunch of different ways to do this. As you see in this screenshot right here, um, I'm divided into five, one, two, three, four, five sections. 
and my sections are curved. You see those little curved lines in there. That's one way of doing it. Uh, where the hair is cross knotted. So you see the cross knotting going on in there. Some hair, one, one row of hair ventilated one side and the other hair going to the other side. Um, and it's all being pulled in an upward direction. So it's like a, um, a reverse knot. So what a reverse knot is, is you pull the hair in the opposite direction of what you want it to lay in. And then when you pull it back, to the direction you do want it to lay in, it gives it a natural lift. That's a reverse knot. So sometimes with crown knotting, people will use a reverse knot and crown knot to give more lift in that area and for more reali realistic appearance. You only know if you want to do that or use that knotting technique if you try it on your own. So you want to try it on your own, play around with crown knotting, and when you have a client that's asking for a top or something like that, then you can say, oh, that would be perfect for this. So I highly recommend playing and toying with this. Another way of creating a pattern is like this. Now, again, this is just one of many, and this is not a very, very neat drawing. But um, you see here that this is like, this circle is like a crown, right? But this is only divided into four sections. And inside you see another circle. That circle inside, people will sometimes ventilate that hair in a different direction than the hair underneath it to create a different type of effect. So this is another way of ventilating a crown. I'm gonna go back to this image. Instead of doing these four sections here, you can divide this into six or seven sections and you can ventilate the hair in those seven sections. Each pie section goes in one direction. Um, you can ventilate them at a, uh, probably you wanna go to a 60 degree angle all the way around angling it so that it looks like it's going in a circle which creates that whirl, okay? There, there are so many different ways of doing this. Uh, and I've seen all kinds of different ways. I've seen, People literally ventilate in a circle because if you look at this, um, look at this lace, right? The grain or the pattern in this lace is horizontal. So it's going in a straight line across like this. The lace, the lines in the lace are not going vertical, okay? So even trying, even seeing what it looks like when your lace is vertical versus your lace being horizontal is something you also want to toy around with. You really want to sit down and ventilate these different crowns and doing different patterns and techniques to see what works for you best and to see what you can use where, depending on what type of client you're working with. Um, there was one other point that I wanted to make that just left me just like that. I'm sure it'll come back to me. Typically, I will say this. Typically, when you're ventilating a crown, you're always going to use a single knot. Um, obviously, your single knot uh, and where it's placed is when, you, when cross knotting comes into play. So a cross knot is not a different type of knot. It is a different placement of a single knot. So you're always going to use single knots, but um, depending on... Um, the project that you're working on, sometimes those crowns, uh, it can be requested that a crown world be completely double knotted in that area because of where it's located and because of the wear and tear. I personally don't like to do that because I don't like the size of the knots, but sometimes when you're working with a toupee or you're working with somebody who wears toupees, it just may be necessary. You know what? Let me make sure of something real quick. Okay, I just wanted to make sure my audio was right because I felt like it was off. Um, so that is another key thing when it comes to the swirl and swirling with crown knotting. Um, but I still feel like there was something else that I wanted to mention that I didn't get to mention here. Um, I was talking about the way the lines are laid in the lace. I'm sure it'll come back to me eventually. Um, 
Another thing that you can do if you like these four sections, you can still take those four sections and ventilate that hair in whatever direction you're looking to ventilate in. So my point in explaining all of this, and even inside Lacewig University, um, there was another instructor, Wakis, who taught uh, ventilating a crown world a totally different way. So I don't want you to ever, I don't care where you're at in your wig journey, whether you're a student of mine or not a student of mine, doesn't matter. I, I don't want you to ever get tied down to one specific way of doing things because that limits your creativity. When you understand the basics or the foundation of something, then you can take that thing and you can go and you can break those rules or you can do something completely different according to what you want that end result to be. So don't ever feel like you're stuck or you got to stay stuck doing one thing when there's so many different ways of doing things, even like this. So even with this, I didn't have to, you don't have to curve your lines. You can make straight lines. All right. So you, you don't have to curve those lines. You can make those lines straight. Try all kinds of different things when it comes to this, because it's only going to make you a better wig maker. It's only going to make your work look better. And it's only going to allow you to see what works and what doesn't work. It's not going to hurt you. It's only going to help you. All right. So this is a good question. Hello, Tiffany. Hello, Marquetta and chat. <laughs> uh, would a double split knot work well for... That's what I was trying to say. Thank you for reminding me. So yes, that's what I was saying. So Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when we think about the split knot or the double split knot, we think about manufactured wigs and how difficult sometimes those knots are hard to get out. But I posted a video to my Instagram, it was earlier this year, that showed the type of knots that they do in the factory. And so when they split the knot, what they're doing is they're knotting one side of the hair. And they're getting that knot, knot tight. And then they knot the other side of the hair and get that knot tight. And it's also the fact that they're knotting more than one strand of hair at the same time while they're doing this different knotting technique that makes those knots so thick and so difficult for color or anything to penetrate through. So when you do this, I said that to say this, when you do it on your own, and you do your own split knot or even double split knot, you already know you're not going to do that. You're going to do it where you're knotting the same strand of hair two times or you're knotting that one strand of hair um, just once. And I do think that it makes for a way more natural and nicer look. Um, but again, it's one of those things that you have to sit down and you got to try it for yourself and toy around with these things to see what works and to see what doesn't work. All right. So that was it. I wanted to make sure that I talked about crown knotting tonight, but we also have a special guest tonight. So let me say this before I get, bring my special guest on tonight. If you are a student of mine or if you graduated from Lacewig University or any of my programs, I would love to have you as, as a guest on the show. So send an email. I'm about to float this email um, down below, or you can text me either or send an email or a text. Y'all see me uh, stalling until I find this, <laughs> this link. Uh, Cause I know it's in here about 32 times, but it's not the one that I want. All right. So go here. Um, nope. Actually, I'm going to create a new one. This is what I want you to do. If you would like to be featured or be a uh, show guest, send an email to support at marquettabreslin.com. Boom, right here. I would love to have you um, as a guest on the show as I'm moving forward in... Um, in everything that we're doing with the American Wig Association, with um, Fully Booked Wig Maker, with everything that we're doing, um, you are a big part of that. So I would love to have you as a guest on the show. Okay, so tonight, 
this young man's story is actually amazing. So last year around this time, um, I started seeing, I started getting tagged in post by this amazing individual and come to find out he was a brand new student inside Lacewig University. And I was just really excited. I'm always excited to see the new students and see how far they grow um, in this craft and in this skill. And this young man is nothing short of amazing. His work is absolutely stunning. And the amazing thing, which I'm sure he'll correct me when he comes on if I'm wrong, but I don't think he had any experience at all with ventilating prior to Lacewig University. I don't think. I could be wrong. Um, even if he did, it doesn't matter. He's still amazing. And just the other day, he posted something and I had to, I had, I had to repost it because it was a, a closure piece. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is stunning. And then I immediately thought about his journey and everything that he's been through up to this point, uh, even outside of Lacewig University. And his journey is inspiring and he is amazing and what he's doing is amazing. And um, I just wanted to bring him on here to talk about what it's been like since he's graduated from Lacewig University. So without further ado, welcome to the show, AJ. AJ, how are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm doing amazing. I cannot complain. <laughs> oh, man. First of all, thank you for taking the time out of your day to come on here and hang out with us live. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So can you take a few minutes to introduce yourself to my audience, tell them who you are, what you do, and how you ventured into the amazing world of wigs? Yeah, so I'm AJ. Um, I've been always in love with wigs. I remember the first time I started making wigs, I started looking for videos to learn how to actually ventilate, but there was no information on YouTube. So I remember just saw a video on how to do like the single knots. And I remember I started making my first wig, but it, it was just like single knots and it was just like a plain wig, like nothing like to be <laughs> uh, surprised of it. And, um, it was like, God put you on my path. And mm -hmm. I remember when you post um, the Lacewood University was going to launch and I told my cousin, cousin, I want a good <laughs> training because I really like wigs and I really want to make wigs. And she was like, if you finish what you're doing right now, I'll pay for your course. And ah! she really did. <laughs> she did. And um, prior to this, I was struggling uh, with my health because I went through multiple car accidents and I couldn't do the work that I was doing. I worked at McDonald's for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. And couldn't do that many hours and all that like I used to do before. And this was like God pushing on my life for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I started like making wigs and meeting new people and it was just great. And I love it. And when I started watching like the training system, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> And now I was like making closures and fronts and all that. It was just amazing. It's like a lot of things that I did not know. That's amazing. So in in your uh in your discovery, so I was I was wrong. So you actually were already ventilating before Lacewig University. So you yeah. knew how to tie the single knot already. Yeah. And you were yeah. already making wigs. Now that you say that, I remember because that's how I discovered you. I said, okay. That's what it was. So good. I'm glad you corrected that. So in in from the beginning until now, what has changed? Like how has thing how have things changed in your life? Like even outside and even outside of Lacewick University, because I know a lot of the university, what we spent in the mentorship portion, 30 days just on mindset alone. So how has like life differed from you since that? Wow, it has changed like the whole thing. Cause like I didn't know anything about lace. I didn't know there were a lot of type of laces. 
type of hairs, like from different origins and all that. And there were different types of wigs that I did not know. I mm. just always heard people say, oh, lace from wig, lace from wig, but I, I didn't even know what it was. I was I <laughs> thought you were lace from because of the lace. But mm -hmm. I didn't know. So it has changed everything, everything. That's amazing. And so now, um, first of all, what was your favorite part? What was your favorite part? I always like to hear this. The full lace wig. That was a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> Have you made a full lace wig yet? I did make one. It was for somebody who was like my grandma. So I did that. It oh, was, that's amazing. Yeah. She was going through cancer. Um, oh. She was supposed to lose all her hair. Thank God she didn't. Oh, thank God. Weeks, but she loved it. Oh, really? That's see, that right there is why I do what I do for reasons like that. Because I will never forget my mom going through, like going to the cancer center, going into the the salon at the cancer center, and them giving her the ugliest wig that did not look like her hair. And it was just, to me, I, I almost, and I'm not her, I felt a little bit disrespected. <laughs> and I'm not even my mom. And I'm just like, gosh, how we got to be able to help people like that. So AJ, that is, that right there, that's it right there. That is just amazing. And so now, what what are you doing now? Like, I know that you've made wigs for people or made closure pieces for people. You're doing repairs. So you're actually able to take what you learned and now you're like, you're making money from that. You're actually like, that's amazing to me. Yep. I have to get my, like I say, it was an investment. I have to get my investment back like twice or five times what I paid for the course, you know? Yeah. I've closures for actually a company that sells wig, like gauze wig making. Uh -huh. A lot of people don't like it, but I'm like, it's money, you know, you have to start. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a ghost wig maker. I have done wigs on a sewing machine for other people, for other companies, closure for yeah. other companies. I have sold some bundles for other companies and all that. It's been great. That's amazing. So yeah. what is your biggest tip? It's not, forget about Lace Week University. What is your biggest wig making tip for people watching? Dream. Ooh. Positive. Every time I'm not in a wig, I'm always dreaming. I'm like thinking positively of how, what things people will, will think about my work. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but this customer is going to love this wig. They're going to love the lace. They're going to love Ooh. this. Wig. They're going to love, you know, the hair. I'm always like dreaming while I'm ventilating. I always like to stay positive. Yeah, yeah. Being positive and saying positive things. That's amazing. So like what, what, um, as far as the technical part of it, what is your, if, if somebody came to you right now, oh, no, let me ask you this question. This is a better question. If you could invent anything in the world to help you make wigs, what would it be? <laughs> a ventilating machine. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Listen, it depends. Look, it depends on who you ask too, because I was just talking um, earlier, no, actually earlier this week, I think with um, Taylor May Jane, you may or may not know her. Her work is, <laughs> it is just outstanding. It's beautiful. And she said, I love ventilating. I could do it all day and all day, every day. And I'm like, gosh, that's so, so many people are, it, it, you just, it all depends on who you ask. Some people are like, nope, that ain't my thing. Some people are like, I love it. I am in the, I'm right in the middle. I like doing the smaller projects, like the hair patches and the closure pieces. Not so much the full lace wigs. I can't <laughs> have to, I'm good if I don't do it, make another full lace wig, but I love the, I love the smaller projects and, and stuff like that. 
Yeah. Vernell says, AJ, why don't you start your own YouTube channel talking about how you love wig making? I agree. I'm very like shy and I really I always get like really, really nervous when I'm like in front of the camera or just recording myself. <laughs> but <I'm> <laughs> I think that you are amazing on camera. You are amazing. So look, I want to bring up your, um, I want to bring up your YouTube channel. I mean, oh Lord, see, see, <laughs> I, I, I said YouTube channel. I want to bring up your Instagram. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Okay, perfect. It looks, it looks really, really nice. So I just want to go through some of the pieces to talk about your inspiration behind the piece and, uh, feel free to speak freely about these pieces. And Hey, if some of them are for sale, toot your own horn. This uh, right here though, AJ, this piece is beautiful. Like beautiful. First birthday week. <laughs> this was yours. Yep. Wow. I mean, it is gorgeous. Yep. It's beautiful. So what kind of hair did you use? So, and the, it's a four by four closure is rolling the hair on the top and the bundles are um, just virgin hair. Just Brazilian virgin hair. It's like 30 inches. Wow. I mean, it is, it's stunning. It's and um, how long did it take you? That one only took me like a week. Wow. Oh, because you use the bundles. Yes. Do you have a preferred texture of hair that you like working with? Mm -hmm. I like wavy hair a lot because it's versatile and you can, if it's like naturally wavy, it's good because you can straight the hair and then you will get back to wavy and you can switch styles and all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally get that. What about this beauty? That one is a 13 by six. And this uh, is a closure. Uh, no, no, no. This is a frontal. A frontal. Yes. That mm -hmm. one is for sale too. This one is for sale. It's for sale on my website. Yes. Oh, what is your website? It's beautybyaj.com. Wait, what? <laughs> AJ, I didn't even know you launched a website. Yes. Like beautybyaj.com. Yes. I'm about to put it up right now. Boom. Beautybyaj.com. And you have your pieces and stuff for sale on the website. Yes. AJ, this is amazing. <laughs> so what's your favorite part of the process? The hairline. The hairline. And like the pouring space. It, it, it's everything. I mean, just, just, just look. It's beautiful. Yep. What is your, what tip would you give to uh, new wig makers when it comes to the hairline? I always look to mine or somebody else's and I look like how the hair lays and like the shapes. I like to always look for that. Yes, yes. The shape of the hairline, how the hair lays. Um, mm -hmm. I'll never forget my nail tech Um I took a picture of her hairline because her hairline looks fake. <laughs> it, it, look, it does. I said, I said, oh my gosh, Steph, like I've never seen a hairline like you. Like there's no, she doesn't have a widow's peak. It just goes straight across just like this. And there's no variation of density here. So her hairline, because she has beautiful, beautiful, long wavy hair, but there is no very, like there's no, it doesn't get thinner. It's yeah. the same density in the front as it is like as it goes back. And I never seen a hairline like that before. So you're exactly right in that everybody's hairline looks completely different. It doesn't look, some people may have similar hairlines, but they all look different. Yeah. Um, Vernell wants to know how much the first one, the first wig is that I showed with the black hair right here. That one, I think, is 900. I can't remember, I think it's 900. 900. It's but all of the information can be found on your website. Yes. Which is linked below. Yes. <laughs> what about this piece right here? This one is actually, I wanted to show you. I have it right here. 
I oh, just hold on. Let's go back full screen. Hold on. This is fun. It's show and tell. <laughs> I literally just finished it. Oh, my goodness. That's this piece right here on the screen? Yep. So what? Oh, my gosh. So what did you do? What did you? So did you just narrow that section out? I actually plug it. Oh, I, did you? Yep. And I made the hairline again. Let's see if I can show you. Wow. Look at that. So this piece was a manufactured piece, yes? And I customized it. It's amazing. So was this piece one that you had already previously worked on? Was it a manufactured piece? No, it was my first time working with this one. It's the first time I do something like this, actually. Oh, I see. So when when you get to the bottom, I see where you plucked it all out. Yep. I wow. Like Inch in the middle. It's a, it, it looks beautiful. That just speaks to, AJ, it just speaks to the creativity behind what you can do with when you learn how to ventilate because you made that piece look amazing without having to spend 88 hours <laughs> ventilating it because how long do you know how long it took you to uh to ventilate this their hairline i did it in 10 hours and the pouring spray I did it like in five hours. So 15 hours total. There you go. 15 hours total. 15 hours. And this is the one that made me reach out to you. Yeah. I don't know what it is about this piece. It is just stunning. So beautiful. The curls, everything. I was yes. in love. I so was this for a client? <laughs> yes. Oh. She was in love with it. She could have believed it. <laughs> I mean, I would have been in love with it too. You can see my comment over here. Oh, and goodness, this yeah. is so beautiful. Yes. I you know what I love? I love how how the part looks so natural. So is it the hair? Is it the lace? What type of lace did you use for this? What type? By the way, guys, if y'all have questions for AJ. Drop your questions for AJ over in the chat because I'm going to highlight those questions in just a second. Um, but what did you use? So what kind of lace did you use here? And, and like what? I know the hair is curly, but it looks also like it's fine. Yeah, it, the hair was very fine. And mm -hmm. also the lace, the holes were, you know, for example, Bassy, um, if you see they have like, very, very small holes, medium and very large. So I use medium yep. so the density looks very natural and you don't have to like plug anything. Okay, so it was a film lace, but it was medium sized holes. Yes. Okay, good. That's what Nancy is asking. Hey, Miss Nancy, I'm glad to hear <laughs> that you're doing okay. Oh, uh, she was in, I saw your post on Instagram. She got stung by a scorpion. Yep. <laughs> Nancy, I'm just tell you that is one of my worst fears living here in Vegas. <laughs> I won't even go outside at night because we have palm trees in our backyard and that's when they come out. She says, got it. Thank you. All right. Um, I mean, man, I just can't. Is this a coated lace or is it a regular film lace? Yeah, it's coated lace. Ah, it's coated. I was just talking about this, I think last week or maybe it was Friday, with coated lace, people, see, people don't even know this stuff exists. Uh, a lot of people are used to working with the Asian type of lace that is grayish, and it doesn't have the hexagons. It has yeah. squares or sometimes triangles. <laughs> that That's, that's not going to give you this type of look. Like, the people are, don't have the knowledge. They... Think the HD lace, transparent lace, and all the type of lace have different type of laces, but it's literally just like the origin and all that. Yes, 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 yes. You already know this right here is just mesmerizing. I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> that That's one is so beautiful. That's the piece? Yes. Wow. 
And your closure pattern too. I just, I love everything about this, about this piece. Now, what do we have here? That was the prep, the preparation of the hair. Same hair, right? Yep. Inside your drawing card. I love it. You're, you're using all the tools and everything. Like, it's just amazing to me. Is this a client? Oh my goodness. Yep. That was a client. I colored some extensions for her and I installed it on her. She oh, was. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely beautiful. I see. Oh, look at this. Oh, the closure. I mean, just gorgeous. Absolutely That's gorgeous. It's on my website too. This one is on your website? This closure? What size is this? Four by four? It's like 4.5 and 4.5. So four by four, I would say. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, we got some questions for you over here, AJ. Let me bring us both back on screen. I'm going to leave your... Actually, you know what? Let me fix this. Hold on. I am going to do this so that your website is scrolling across the bottom. Okay. Um, all right. Questions for AJ. Uh, Steph Thompson says, I love the wooden needle you're using, AJ. It's my favorite. It's mine too. Is it the bamboo? <laughs> yep. I can, I love that thing. Love it. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. It just makes your work easy. I think so. To me, it makes it look neater. But I've seen, of course, people ventilate and have neat work with the German needle. It's just not my thing. I don't know why. I like it. Sometimes. I like it if I'm whip, if I'm doing a whip stitch. It works beautifully with yep. a whip stitch. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, let's see. That's beautiful. What lace do you like to use best? Some coated film lace, definitely. Yeah, coated film lace. I'm with you on that. I am with you on that because it's still, even though it's coated for durability, it still melts. It's yep. still going to give you that same effect, Good. but it's going to give you that sturdiness that you need in it's order good. to be able to um, make these beautiful pieces. And it, they'll last longer because your lace is coated. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Glenn by Yashika said, did you wig hack it? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, did you wig hack the piece? It was the piece where you plug the middle yeah. section. Yeah, yeah. That, I think that's what she was talking about. Yeah. Kina Mercer said, that's beautiful work, AJ. Yeah. Roshonda says, what is your IG handle? It's Beauty by AJ, right? AJ, Beauty by AJ. Okay, let me let me update that on this banner. It is AJ, Beauty by AJ. So hold on. Instagram, AJ, Beauty by, by AJ. There. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. Hold on, let me fix it. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, there we go. That looks cleaner. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Uh, da, 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 da. We already answered what kind of lace. Uh, oh, what was the company you did? You did it for yourself on the way you're showing right now. Oh, 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 what was the company you made that piece for? I think she was asking, or did you do it for yourself? If you don't feel comfortable sharing the company, you don't have to share the company. Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to do that because you're a ghost wig maker and you can't do that. Got yeah. it. <laughs> uh, Aisha says, two times coated HD or film, uh, parentheses, silk lace from Bossy is my fave. Much like how you said the smaller holes give a natural no plug needed look. Yes. And it's something about the way those holes are. And when you ventilate that single strand, and I don't know if you do this, AJ, but I have a lot of little tricks and stuff that I do um, if I'm doing a hairline. Like um, sometimes 
Well, I don't want to share that trick just yet because it's not all the way perfected. I will share it one day, but I need to perfect it first. But yeah. I will say sometimes I will go through and take whatever hair I'm using for the uh, for the actual wig and I'll pick out the finest strands of that hair and lay it to the side. And only those strands are used for the hairline area. And no matter where I put my cotton line in for my hairline, I always go over and move those knots over. And like, like, so let's say my cotton line goes from here to here, like it's an outline of my actual hairline, right? Well, if you look close at my hairline, I have some hair that goes outside of that. Like my hairline looks like it stops here, but I have hair that actually comes down as far as here in some areas. So I mimic that. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. So I mimic that when I'm doing, um, when I'm ventilating and I'm doing a hairline and also changing directions in a hairline because sometimes our hair changes directions. It throws off the eye and it makes it look even more realistic because everybody's hair doesn't lay perfectly like in the way that it's it's ventilated or in the way that it's plucked, it lays in different directions around the hairline. So the whole idea of making a lace wig and, and playing with a hairline is to mimic the growth pattern of actual hair. That's the beauty of being able to um, ventilate because you get to strategically place hair wherever you want it to create a specific look. So I can talk about hairlines all day. I, I love hairlines. Uh, Jermisha says, how do you become a ghost wig maker? Reaching out to companies, you have to talk to them. Sometimes they will say, no. sometimes you will find somebody that will want it to work with you. That's amazing. <laughs> and it's not about sitting back and waiting for people to come to you. Sometimes you got to take the bull by the horns and say, look, here I am. And this is I, my name is 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 AJ. And this is what I do. Yeah. And, and, and you can't be discouraged by a no. Right. You have to. Keep somebody's going to say yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. Love it. Um, Arnisha says, what company did you use to purchase your lace? Outlier Bassi. Atelier Bassi, A T E L I E R B A S S I. Um, there's also the wig department. I don't know if you've ever used the wig department. There's also the wig department. There's also Jagazi Naturals. And I'm sure there's two or three other companies that I'm missing, but those are the three that are always in my mind. Uh, Fishbach Miller is another one. Um, <laughs> Vernell says, Marquetta, you better get him for one of your teachers for your classes. Oh. <laughs> or as a, a teacher to come back and volunteer at a live event. Oh, I would love to. Never know. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think that was the last question. So before we go tonight, AJ, um, I want you to share a, a technique or strategy or something that you use that you created that's yours. And then I want you to um, promote all of your stuff, like your social media, your website, wigs available, all of that. Take your time. Do not feel rushed. Okay. So one thing I will say, if you're starting on wig making, in this world, making wigs, right? Um, one thing I have done, and it has made my work easily when I'm constructing, a foundation, let's say for a um, frontal or a closure. You know, the lace that we use is expensive. And there's some um, frontals foundation that you can buy already made and they have the lace, right? But if you don't like the lace, I always go like from here to the front and I put my lace on it. And I leave. You refront. You refront a prefabricated frontal. Like so. So the frontal is not made. You're buying the the lace piece, but yes. you use what's in the back and you replace it with your own lace. That's brilliant. Just for the front. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I like that. Because it saves you a little more time and also money because the lace is very expensive. When you're working with the real material, you will see it's a lace. <laughs> It is. It is very, very, very expensive. It can be. It can be. It can. But then you can also find some that's like right in the middle that'll still give you a beautiful looking piece. Yeah. Um, but still, at the end of the day, I am all for saving lace whenever I can. I yeah. have scraps of lace everywhere, but they're big enough. And I'm like, no, that could be a hair patch. If yeah. somebody is balding in like this little area right here in this little circle, that's a hair patch. Yeah. <laughs> so you can use lace for anything, anything at all. So uh, where can everybody find you? Uh, all of that stuff. Like what, what's your Instagram? I know it's all scrolling down below, but this is your opportunity to toot your horn, to, to promote your wigs or whatever you want to promote. Yeah. So that's my best contact. My Instagram, I'm always there. I'm always answering all the message, your comments. If you have any questions, if you need any help, anything, I'm always there. Um, and if you wanted to purchase one of my wigs, beautybyaj.com, that's my website. There you can email me if you need um, any custom made piece, a certain size closure or frontal, anything. I'm there and I'm Yay! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You are just an amazing human being. See? I am. I can't wait till I could give you a, a an in-person hug. Till I can hug you, AJ. <laughs> I'm a hugger. Listen, I'm a hugger. <laughs> so I love to love on people and hug on people. Listen, thank you so much. This was short notice. I just reached out to you last week. This was short notice. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day because I know you're on the, the East Coast, so it's getting late over there. But I appreciate you taking the time out of your evening to come and hang out. I hope this won't be the last time that uh, that you come on the show. Um, yeah, any parting words before, we, before uh, I let you go? No. Yes. For all those week makers there, just keep going, keep practicing. Keep practicing and stay motivated as much as you can. I love it. I love it. Thank you, AJ. I love you so much. I really do appreciate you. And I owe you the recording of our last interview. I have not forgot. <laughs> I haven't forgot. I've just been insanely busy, but I will make sure I get that over to you. Thank you. I Thank appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you Good. so much. Um. Sorry, I hit the button too soon. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you so much. God, God bless you. And if you want to hang out until the end, you can. So we could chat after. Yeah. Um, I just got, okay, great. I just have a few minutes left. Guys, he is amazing. I mean, you've seen his work. His work is absolutely beautiful. And I am really, really, really excited for everything that's coming in his future. Don't go just yet. Do not go just yet. Uh, just a couple of announcements and reminders before you go. If you are not already, I want to make sure that you are very well aware of the American Wig Association. And if you're not a member, you need to become a member of the American Wig Association. It is where wig makers can be connected with people who need wigs. Everything you see on your screen is what you get when you become a member of um, you get a mail certificate to your house. You get access to an annual newsletter. You get your own landing page on the website and um, a copy of my newest print book, Lace Wig Revolution. So I'm really excited about that. It's only $99 to become a member for the entire year. Um, that is a steal. All right. Also, registration is closing soon for my next two-day Lace Wig boot camp. Seats are almost completely sold out, but there's still a couple of seats left. So if you haven't already, listen, this is my last um, hands-on event for the year. I won't be having one again until next year. And it's going to, it'll be a while. It'll be after March when I have the next one, um, but it's not even scheduled yet. So if you've ever wanted to come to my, one of my live events, two full days of hands-on training, uh, there's no 
additional information there is straight up hardcore training. Um, all you got to do is, I had the link up earlier, visit this link right here to uh, submit your application to join. Um, also, where's my other one? Boom, this right here, y'all, I've never launched anything like this before. Fully Booked Wig Maker is my newest product uh, that I've just launched. It's a four-week, well, actually, it's not four weeks. It's a four-day live class where we're going live every single day for four consecutive days. Um, finally, for me to help you book clients for your wigs, I literally wrote the book on getting and keeping clients. It's one of my best books out of all four. It's probably my favorite book. It's called Fully Booked. And it's because it has techniques and strategies in there for getting and keeping clients that work. It's things that I did in the salon uh, that kept me booked for as long as my salon was open until I had, had to close it when mom uh, was diagnosed with cancer. So if you struggle with getting clients or understanding marketing or keeping clients, or even if you have a clientele, but you need to change things up, Fully Booked Wig Maker is for you. Listen, it's it's four different modules that I'm teaching, but the bonuses, oh my goodness. So I'm giving you the consulting and coaching blueprint. I've been consulting and coaching for a very long time. And I'm breaking down exactly how to do it, how to structure it. That's a bonus. I'm showing you how to market it with ads, um, geo-targeting. Specifically, we're going to talk about geo-targeting. And that is where you can geographically target people within a certain mile radius of your company. As well as, I think my favorite thing is the make your own product bonus. Uh, because a lot of you are using products that other companies have that are uh, that you love, that you could be using your own product. And I'm going to show you how to get your own product line up and running in as little as a week. That's it, as little as a week. And of course, there's some other things that you're going to learn in there too. Um, all you got to do, all of the links are already under this video, depending on the platform uh, you're watching on. But all you got to do is go to marquettabreson.com slash wig maker. You can see everything there. Listen. The cost is crazy. It's only $99. That's it. It's $99 or three payments of $33. It's a no brainer. Okay. A no brainer. And last but not least, all of the people who are inner circle members get 15% off of that $99 price and 15% off of live events. So it's live events, live classes, and online classes. You take 15% off as an inner circle member. Uh, all you got to do is go to marquettabreson.com slash join. We have private members only lives that we do once a month, um, getting ready to incorporate Bible study per the votes that I received from the poll I did inside the inner circle. And then there's so much more. We read books together and all kinds of things. Um, it's really amazing, have a lot of stuff going on, but a lot of stuff coming up that you're going to be very, very excited about that I'm really, really happy about. Um, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the new time. It looks like y'all like this new time because I saw a whole lot of people on here that I did not see in the beginning. So I'm going to roll with this new time. I like it. Um, and I hope you guys it seems like y'all like it too. Um, oh, let me highlight a couple of these comments. Yes. Yes, Sandra. I'm so excited. By the way, I thought about you the other day. I saw a picture of you the other day, actually. Um, I'm getting ready to post pictures from the people who volunteered um, from my event in July. Um, but I was, I always try to find the most flattering pictures of people I could, <laughs> I could find. And you had so many cause you're so photogenic. Um, but a lot of y'all had a lot of pictures. Me on the other hand, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> for now, I guess this is to AJ. AJ, I see you in the back in, in the, uh, uh, green room back there. She says, start a YouTube channel and don't procrastinate. I see you in the comments, AJ. <laughs> KB, KPB, yes. All of my training is for 
beginners, but if you are a, 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 a novice or even advanced, you could take something away from it too. Yeah. So here's the thing. Let me be very, very clear. Um, wig making, wig making does not require you to have a license. So no license is required for what I teach. Thank you for asking that question. Aisha says Marquetta's consulting slash sales call definitely helped. I'm glad you mentioned that because I have an entire section on sales calls. Uh, you and I, Aisha, had a phone call about this and i gave you the script and we went through everything and it was it was amazing uh but she says marquette's consulting slash sales calls definitely help fully book the book is very helpful i'm sure the class will be on point for sure thank you thank you yes it's a no-brainer uh yes Ron, Rashonda, it's went so with the live events it is a little bit different because you can't just pay online so we saw your email you're going to be contacted tomorrow uh, for that to be processed through. And by the way, shout out to you because she just used, she's about to use her discount code for the upcoming two day lace wig boot camp. So I'm telling y'all, this inner circle, listen, the inner circle is only $19 a month. And you join right there on YouTube, it's only $19 a month. And uh, we have a whole lot of fun in there. Um, okay, I think that's it. Marquetta, did you see the Facebook live we did six years ago? I'm <laughs> no, I did not see that. I didn't. Has it been six years? Has it been six years, Sandra? It's crazy because it doesn't feel like that. It feels like it's been like two years. I cannot believe it's been six years. That's incredible. That is, oh no, you're not gonna miss it. I got you. You're not gonna miss it. You'll be there. You will be there. All right, guys. I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Um, I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Uh, I will go live again one day this week. I just don't know what day yet. It depends on uh, what's going on in my house. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. All right. Stay tuned in to my... Uh, my YouTube and Facebook and all that, turn the, the bells on so you get notified when a live is scheduled. Okay. God bless each and every one of you. I love you guys. God bless. And I'll talk to you.